Yes. Hey, Team Inspire TCG here, and I'm with uh, Carlos Zuniga. All right, and tell the world what you did today. Uh, we got first at the 3v3 here at Game Guys in Houston, Texas, for uh, 16 boxes total. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, I guess we can just jump straight into the profile. Yeah, of course. Uh, I play Pearly. My other two teammates want to play uh, Rescue A's and Dark World. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Rescue A's and. Um, <laughs> what, was that, what was that called? Uh, I can't think of it. The dogs, whatever the dogs are. Oh, the Unchained? Unchained, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, just for context. But um, this is my list. I played the standard three Pearly, three Perlily. I decided to play the Dark World package. All right, how um, did it do for you today? Uh, I thought it was really good. Uh, it helped me push through boards because it gives you the free discard um, and you don't have to commit the cards that you actually want to uh, uh, keep. Uh, I feel that if you play other cards like Fenrir and stuff like that, then you have to commit other other spells that you may uh, want to use down the down the line. Okay. Uh, so this just gives the, the free plotter. I thought it was really good. All right, spicy. Um, so that's for the, the engine. And then I played three Nib, uh, three Ash, three Troll, and the three Imperm. All right, and overall, what would you say about these? Was there anything that you would cut, or did everything pretty much perform the way that you expected it to? Um, this suit, they just perform very standard, so, yeah. you know, overall, they're really good. Um, this card, I played a lot of Rescue Aids, so it was getting sided out a lot. Mm. Um, but in the last match, uh, I was able to pair up with the Ash, and he was able to uh, help me push there. Uh, but overall, uh, this this was really good. This was standard, and it was okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I would cut it though because you know there's other decks that lose to that. Right, right. Uh, and then for the spells, pretty standard lineup: three, three, uh, three of the this, this. So this all the quick plays. Okay, okay. And then we have three, my friend, and I decided to play two street and one. Uh, you, two street because uh, I was playing three before, but it feels like you break on it a lot, especially mm. when you're trying to get, start getting uh, or hit off of the white cat. Mm. You don't want to reveal this, Facts. so that's the reason why. Now, I see a lot less playing three, but I guess personally for us, we've been we've been running two and it's been working yeah, out pretty good. Yeah, I I tried it at three and it just felt like when I was breaking boards or when yeah. I was trying to establish a board through interruptions. Um, revealing the the other fill spells was, it didn't feel good. All right. Uh, for the extra deck, I decided to play uh, IP Mascarena, uh, Azalea, uh, Anima, Esp Little Knight, and um, Dark. Mm -hmm. um, I only pretty much just messed with this. I didn't summon this at all. Uh, but the fear behind this is that um, you can, whenever you have the white cats, if you happen to extend, overextend, uh, if you're not respecting Nib or whatever, you can use two of the white cats to make this. Um, and then you have a quick play set or, or you have another name, you can just use it to link into this and then this gets the banish effect on summon. Um, so that's how I was using it. Interesting. And then this is just a token. Uh, for this, I didn't make this once today, but I know it's, it's good. Mm. Um, and then this is just pretty standard. Uh, I think this is standard. Uh, some people like to play two of these. I don't think it's necessary. Really? But overall, this is just okay. standard lineup. And then I played one downer and one Zeus. Um, the second one didn't come up today, um, but there is arguments to play two. So. Okay. And why not run Typhon? Um, just because I feel that this deck, um, you use a lot of your Xyz to bait stuff out. Mm. So um, the moment that you summon that card, you pretty much end your turn with this deck. And you know I don't want to give my opponent that that satisfaction knowing when I'm I'm done. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. Uh, for the side, I played three Phantasmi, three Shifter. Uh, for the monsters, this is it. Uh, I didn't main this. Uh, I didn't play this at all today. Mm -hmm. uh, I played or uh, I cited this in the mirror, um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Because uh, rescue is, is mid against rescue ace, I mm -hmm. think. 
Um, and the, the idea behind this is if I play any on chain, if you play um, just, uh, what, what is the other deck? Um, I'm sorry, there's another deck that we, we, we respected that we wanted to play this for, mm -hmm. but I didn't decide, I didn't play it against okay. it, so. In theory, it's okay. Uh, then for the spells, we did three Lightning Storm and three Inscription. Inscription. Oh, two Lightning Storm, one Feather Duster, and then three Great Creep Inscription. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't play tier, this is only for tier. Mm -hmm. um, I put it in against a lab player once, but didn't see it, so. Okay. Uh, and this, uh, I blew out my round four opponent, opponent. Mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, just blow out the back row. Okay. And then the standard three summon limit. Yeah. Um, Did I put in any work today? Uh, no, actually, no. When I drew it, I already had an orb with uh, eight attachments. So. Okay, okay. But, you know, pretty good card. And yeah, that's that's my deck profile. Um, did I give some shout outs? Yeah, yeah, what are the shout outs? Uh, shout outs to the entire D-Boys Discord. Uh, that's our group that, you know, we test. Shout out to my teammates, Hector and Zach. Um, shout out to Dom and everyone else here in Houston. And yeah, that's all I have. All right, well, hopefully enjoy the rest of your day, man. And uh, Inspire TCG, signing out.